friends, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that red subscribe button. Today I have got a quick crock pot meal for you. It is, we're getting close to back to school and I like to use the crock pot a lot more. So I've been experimenting with some recipes and today we've got a cracked chicken recipe that I'm going to bring you along and show you. And I've got some little helpers down here even though they're about to clean up their toys, huh? Do you just hit yourself in the face? You're a goofball. Tell them hi. 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 All right, so let me show you what we've got and I'll show you how easy this is. I've got three boneless skinless chicken breasts here that I just pulled out of the deep freezer. One box of wannabe cream cheese. I grabbed this because it is healthier. It's got less fat. And then I've got two cans of Aldi's Fit and Active Cream of Chicken Soup and some Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning that I picked up at Costco. Now, a lot of the recipes that you're gonna see are probably going to call for two bricks of cream cheese and no cream of chicken. I am trying it this way to see how we like it. I do an Italian chicken like this, same way, just with Italian seasoning. And the reason I'm doing cream of chicken in place of another second brick of cream cheese is basically for keeping the calories down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to just dump it all in and show you what it looks like. I do line the crock pot with a crock pot liner because I hate having to scrub my crock pot. And the reason I use a crock pot is to make my life easier. If I have to scrub it afterwards, that doesn't make my life easier. So I'm just gonna put the chicken breasts in, dumping soup right on top. You could probably get away with using just one can. I might even, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll try two cans and see how it goes though. This type of cream cheese, I don't know how to pronounce it, which is why I'm calling it wannabe cream cheese. It's already pretty soft. Like I didn't even let it sit out like you would to like soften cream cheese. Not that you need to anyway, but it's actually a, it's a softer consistency, I feel like. So I just dump that in. And then I am going to do three tablespoons of that Hidden Valley Ranch. I'm just eyeballing things a little bit. I'm not really following a recipe on this but I'm just gonna kind of mix that in there with the soup so it doesn't just cook on top. And then depending on your crock pot, I would do low for five to six hours or high for three to four hours. Because it is not even 12.30 yet and we probably won't be eating dinner until closer to like six or 6.30 uh, when my husband gets home from work, I'm just going to put it on low and let it cook. But this will probably cook it just perfectly on low for about the next five to six hours. And then typically in my crock pot, the chicken breast will fall apart. You don't even have to like pull it out and shred it. I use this utensil from Pampered Chef. It's the mix and chop. And it, I'll use this to just kind of break it apart and mix things up. And then we serve it on rolls. You can add some shredded or sliced cheese to it if you'd like. So we'll see how it looks when it's done. All right, friends, it is five o'clock. So I figured I would check on this and see how it's doing. I probably only needed one can of soup. Okay. So number one, yes, I changed my hair since earlier in this video, in case you noticed. Number two, I put probably one can too many of soup in there. So it's a bit runnier than I would have liked. Change of plans, fam. It's not gonna be served on rolls like pulled pork, pulled chicken, pulled meat. It's going to be served over like rice or pasta, which means that I have to make some rice or pasta really quickly before my husband gets home. That's what happens when you experiment. I should have followed my gut instinct and only did the one can of soup. I'm trying to think, because I made a meal where I did have two cans of soup and one brick, the Italian one, which I'll link here, and that consistency was good. I must have had more chicken in it though. That's what happens when you experiment and don't follow a recipe. <sighs> so, it'll be okay. It still looks delicious. It's gonna be good, but I'm gonna make up some, probably, um, I've got a box of rigatoni in the cupboard behind me. This is gonna save the day. I paid 49 cents at Kroger for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this over pasta instead tonight. So if you're following this recipe, don't follow it exactly. Either add more chicken or less soup. It'll probably thicken up by tomorrow too, as it kind of sits, but it's still tasty. Tell me how it tastes. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell me what you think? 
Good deal. And so we served it over well, pasta with lots of fresh veggies because this is a pretty uh, heavy meal. That's how we save the day. We don't throw food ar out around here just because it's not perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.